The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Hello again and welcome to Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. It's your weekly look into the action-packed world of the United Wrestling Network. I am Dustin Starr alongside my lovely Maria. Thanks for joining us today for another jam-packed episode featuring some of the best pro wrestling you'll see anywhere. And today's card is loaded. Right out of the gate, we have outlandish Zicky Dice versus the neon phenomenon Anthony Idol. What a colorful match that's going to be. No kidding. Plus, we'll see the debut of... Oh! He's been waiting to do that all day. Yeah. Che Cabrera needed a partner, and Dustin didn't think he had any friends, what? but boy, did he ever. Oh, we're going to see that tag team match, but in our main event... It's a fatal four-way women's match. Lacey Ryan versus Sandra Moon versus Simone Cherie versus Killer Bay Heather Monroe, elimination style. Plus, I'll have a special report from EPW in Boonville, Mississippi, and so much more. Let's head to the ring. What's up everybody in TV land? It's the baller, the shock collar, the man who makes all the ladies holler, the incredible one, the neon phenomenon, Anthony Idol, coming to you live from nature, out here in wilderness, so I can get my mind right and away from all the static and scorpions and sidewinders that we find out here today. Man, I can't wait to get back on track and back in action at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. In fact, I cannot wait to turn on everybody in Memphis because Memphis already knows about idols but there's a brand new idol in town baby and if you want to join Anthony Idol on the official Anthony Idol pool party world tour you can get the official Anthony Idol t-shirt at prowrestlingtees.com TV land Memphis I cannot wait to see you soon Whew. The following contest is a quarterfinal match in the PP3 Cup Tournament. Introducing first, from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 225 pounds, Outlandish Zicky Dice! Outlandish Zicky Dice with his shot to advance in the PP3. Seen him recently in Atlanta, Georgia as part of NWA Power as well. Would love to get his opportunity to get his hands on the PP3 trophy and most notably, Percy's privilege. And introducing his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 276 pounds, the neon phenomenon, Anthony Idol. Anthony Idol, a real powerhouse, advanced into the tournament, a qualifying tag team matchup teamed with Frankie Frank defeating the Millennials and then scored the victory in the recent six-man PP3 Showcase Tag Team matchup as part of Milestone. Tons of momentum for the Neon Phenomenon. Anthony Idol is a monster in there, an absolute monster, but you know what? He's never gone against the likes of someone like Zicky Dice, who's not a outlandish, but he is cunning and he has tenacity and he has fierce, fierce prowess in there. And Anthony Idol is about to find that out firsthand. Bill, about ready to sound here, and the way that the matchups ended up in the brackets, big boot to kick things off might make Zicky Dice, a magician of sorts, disappear from the ranks of the PP3 field. Easy for me to say, but you know, two the two biggest men in the tournament, I believe, matching up here, guys. So and luck of the draw, maybe not in their favor. Not just in stature, but in personality as well. Both of these guys are are larger than life personalities. In the back, they both. 
you can't get near a pizza and catering around either of these guys either. Well, just around me, just about me alone. That, that, that's absolutely true. And I've never seen so much pink in my life. It, it, it's like we've been invaded by a bunch of flamingos in there. Well, Zicky Dice out of Sin City. I'm sure he's been on uh, at the Flamingo several times. He's performed, I believe. Is that true? I think he's more of an off-strip guy, personally. But, you know, maybe he can uh, aspire to get there and aspire to work his way through the PP3 tournament. But he's got a big mountain to climb, literally, here in Idol. Just to be up there on Idol's shoulders. What is, what is Idol? Like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, or something like that? Idol's a huge, huge, huge man. To fall down from that height is not, not a good situation oh, for Ziggy Dice to be in. Big man going to climb up to the second rope, looking for a bomb of sorts here. And up, oh, knees up. Nice counter there by Zicky Dice. Had a trick up his sleeve that time, into the cover, looking to take advantage. And a blatant choke now, showing what advancing in the PP3 is all about. But flirting with disaster, you don't want to get disqualified. You know what they say about somebody who's a real big man? The bigger they are, the stupider the moves they make. And Anthony Idol made a real stupid move right say? there. That's exactly how they say it. I said it right back to you. Where do they say that? They say it everywhere. Stu you, don't make me mad, okay? Don't make me mad, please. My apologies. Okay, now listen. Anthony Idol made a very pivotal mistake there. Very, very opening, very early on in the openings of this match, he goes up top, or he goes to the middle. Wow. Hold on here. Cover after the Northern Light Suplex to deliver something, to deliver something big. And again, to Zicky Dice. And Zicky Dice playing possum. I can never get a word out. Sticky <laughs> Dice is covered in every three seconds. What's the action of the PP3? I was going to say, he should call it the Neon Light Suplex. The Neon Light Suplex. I, I like that. Future oh. reference there. Into the cover now. Impressive, though, for Zicky Dice to get the big man up and over. Using that, popping those hips, using that leverage. Zicky Dice with his eyes, perhaps... Threshold of pain, obviously very high for Zicky. All those tattoos, he's got a tattoo of Marquez's grandmother on his belly there. Is that who that is? She's looking good. Boy, I've heard of buttering up the boss, but that's ridiculous. Looks just like her. Stinging with the jabs now is the outlandish one, Zicky Dice. I don't call Trifecta. him outlandish for nothing. Uh oh, big spine buster there by the Neon Phenomenon. But sacrifice play as the big man is bewildered as well. Might have been a last ditch effort, but Anthony Idol has enough to roll into the cover. Can he put him away in this heavyweight struggle? So many similarities between these two guys. I mean, looks wise, they both got the hair, they both got the pink, they both got the personality, but only one of these guys can be a victor. So what's it gonna come down to here? It's gonna come down to nasty and brains. And I'll tell you this, Anthony Idol has neither has absolutely neither. Anthony Idol is a big man. That's the one thing he has go not going for him. Zicky Dice is faster. He is smarter. And even if he's on the bottom right now, Zicky Dice is going to find a way to get out of it. Mark my words, Mr. Stone. I appreciate you calling me that. Idol, though, overpowered him with Whoa, the scoop and slam. Hey. Some agility, though, by Zicky Dice. I taught him that. He's I taught him that. Uh-oh. Might be on a roll indeed. He's got idle measured here. A roll of the dice, perhaps, in the corner. Indeed, roll the dice indeed. Is that going to be enough? Drag him to the center. Might advance and join Jordan Clearwater in the semis. Only a count of two. Yo, 11. Winner of this quarterfinal matchup will face either Andy Brown or Ice Williams. Clearwater will battle, battle the winner of Ray Rosas and Frankie Frank. Both of those matchups taking place next week. Zicky, of course, uh, a huge star on the rise. You mentioned uh, as a part of the NWA Power Program, part of the PP3 Cup here. You know, you got to think a victory here would continue to propel him in the trajectory that he is headed on here in 2020. Absolutely, and you got to figure this. He's already come in with such powerful momentum. It wasn't like he came in like a whisper. He came in like a loud boom. Here we go, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Look at that little elbow, if you will, Todd. I think I saw that on Showtime late night back in the day. Nippling <laughs> Fiesta, it's my favorite. Little flip flop and fly there by Anthony Idol in the public, if you will, wow. there it is. Idol overdrive, he's got him. Center of the ring, Idol advances. Wow. Here is your winner, advancing to the semifinals, Anthony Idol.
Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by Bash Boxing. Earlier in the matchup, impressive Northern Light Suplex there by Zicky Neon Dice. Neon Light Suplex. But in the end, just not enough. There you see it, Idol Overdrive. And Anthony Idol is in overdrive, going all the way to the semifinals. More action coming your way on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Pro Shingle has a deal for you. For the next 14 days, Pro Shingle will pay your insurance deductible up to $1,000 on a complete roof replacement. It's the simple choice. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Memphis Wrestling has such a legacy and we're just so happy to bring a little bit of our, of our West Coast wrestling that the Memphis audience which is a true professional wrestling audience has embraced our product and you can't ask for a better compliment than that. BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with championship wrestling to help you be and feel your best. Memphis in May just wrapped up at www.stspod.club. It was all about Memphis and its good stuff in the archives along with new weekly episodes. Be sure to check out our appearances on the podcast last month. It was fun. Oh yeah, give them a listen. www.stspod.club mm -hmm. Oh, heaven. So you think chicken is heaven? Oh my gosh, it's yes. I love that the bunch toast it and the chicken is cooked to the crisp. It is perfect. Chicken slinger. Heaven in my mouth. This is what we are doing while we socially distance ourselves. Playing football, playing video games, taking the dogs on walks. Clean up your lawn and garden the smart way with a DR Chipper Shredder. Reduce leaves, garden cutting, sticks and twigs, even big branches, to a fraction of their original volume. Call now or go online to lock in factory direct savings on the full line of DR Chipper Shredders. For a free buyer's guide, call 1-800-475-0828. Special pricing and free shipping are now in effect online at drchipper.com. contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing it at 160 pounds, Action Braxton! Back in championship wrestling from Hollywood, still just flustered here and disturbed by what we saw before the break, the absolute decimation of one of the most beloved performers on this program. Gentlemen, Jervis, we hope to get a, a report absolutely annihilated by Zicky Dice, who was fit to be tied here, guys. What, I mean, I don't know what to say, TK. It was totally, it was totally uncalled for and unprofessional. And introducing his opponent, he is the Hollywood Heritage Champion. This is Watts. Well, we're gonna call the action at hand here, gentlemen. Try and remain professional, unlike Zicky Dice earlier. Here's the Hollywood Heritage Champion, Watts. In there with competitor making his debut in action, Braxton. Braxton coming out here with that take marker. I'll tell you what, when you're in there, when you're in there, Jeff, with a heritage champion, this action film, it might turn into a, a short film real quick. Well, he, he, I'll tell you what, action Braxton looked, looked very confident uh, coming out here, but uh, well, I don't know. I don't know about right now. Not looking so confident. <laughs> Absolutely. Watts, in my opinion, is the most feared man here at the United Wrestling Network. As a heavyweight competitor yourself, Blake Troop, in the MMA cage, your thoughts on our resident super heavyweight, the Heritage Champion? He's a bad dude, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, you know, talk about a bad dude. He's a bad dude who's been angered by Ray Roses and Static, obviously, uh, you know, with that, with that horrible attack. Oh, no question. It, it was a, a, a sickening attack. Strength in numbers for Static. And you better be careful here, Action Braxton. I don't think there'll be time for reshoots if you make the wrong moves here. Action! Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. The action doesn't start till I say, and action! 
Oh, oh. man. I like be careful what you wish for, guys. Might, might be a short film, just like you said. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, I think uh, this film has been canceled. Gonna go straight to uh, straight to DVD. And the Heritage Champion now, and oh, he's calling for the music. It's been quite a while, guys, since we've seen this. The Heritage Champion, full of confidence, calling his shot. There it is, choke force, emphatic, and all over. That's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Watts. Can you talk about a dominant champion, TK? You talk about our champion. You talk about Watts. All right, cut everyone. That's a wrap. Watts gets it done in dominant fashion yet again. It looks as if the champ has got something on his mind. Get out of my ring. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys are aware of this, but there is a NWA legend in this building right now. This man is a former NWA tag team champion. He ran roughshod over this place almost 10 years ago. And I'd like to call him to the ring right now. So, Mr. Rashi Brown, I see you right there, please. Wow, Rashi Brown in the house. Former please, Rashi Brown, join me in this ring right now. Come on. Let's hear it for Rashi Brown, y'all. Let's go now. Now, believe it or not, one half of the longest reigning NWA Tag Team Champions in history. Rashi Brown, as Watts mentioned, laid a wake of destruction, was probably very influential. Man, Absolutely, you that's a great shape, big boy right dog. There. My man. My man. <laughs> I do. Bro. You, you, you paved the way for a lot of us here, and I thought it'd only be right to give you the chance to speak your mind, bro, so here you go. Wow. First of all, it feels great to be back in championship wrestling from Hollywood. And second, when I left, this man was coming in. And I, that's been like 10 or 12 years of dominance. This is this man's company. Now, you heard through the grapevine that I'm making what some would call a comeback. And uh, there's no better place to do, to do that, than to do that here. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, looking at me, you see I'm old, broken down, beaten up. No. Uh, no. No. I can't, I don't think, I'm not here to not be the champion one day, but I know I'm pretty far from that point right now, so you know you're no threat. But. I am here for that thing one day, but right now I am here to celebrate you as the champion and the flagship of this company. This is your champ. Well, Brother Rashi, when that day comes, I'll still be champ, so I look forward to it. Dominance of the past meets dominance of the presence, but what does the future hold on championship wrestling from Hollywood? These are two big boys. I would love to see them get in there and tie up. What a great moment, TK, Raji Brown, Watts in the ring. Here we go, here we go. Total there we go, baby, let's respect. go. That's right. Welcome back. You can watch episode 43 in full on our official YouTube channel at CW30 Wrestling. Anthony Idol with a big win over NWA television champion Zicky Dice, but up next... Don't do it. Don't do it. Up next, it's tag team action. Howdy Price was all over Che Cabrera after losing his mask, and Che needed a partner. Oh! 
Wolf Zaddies are up next. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Howdy! Ha, ha, ha! Yeah, you're definitely getting there, Dustin, and I appreciate the effort. And uh, let's go. <clears throat> Howdy! <laughs> BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. Right now, it seems the world is moving fast. Things keep changing and we know it can be overwhelming. As parents, we understand your worry and concern and just know we're here with you. In the meantime, let's all use this moment to slow down a bit. Use this time to take care of yourself. To bond with your family and loved ones and lift each other up. Or just binge watch that TV <laughs> show you were trying to finish. We will all get through this as families, friends, and as a community. Remember, we're all in this together. Are you or your small business looking for a tag team partner? Tag team with Championship Wrestling. That's right. Our economy comeback rates are perfect to help let your fans and customers know when you are back in action. It's simple. Go to championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and click contact. Last week on Championship Wrestling, we saw the formation of the group known as Static. Ray Rosas went head to head with Watts. Something snapped in Ray Rosas. Then, Vermin issued a challenge. You come on out right now and fight us! Bateman and Andy Brown answered the call wasn't free. In our main event, Adrian Quest was forced to relinquish the United TV title and had one last chance. Watch episode 61 in full on demand on our official YouTube channel at CW30 Wrestling. Cabrera looks to be in phenomenal shape. He looks to be in fighting shape. Yeah, that's fine. He'll have to go it alone because he ain't found a partner. I guarantee it. This is something we haven't seen in a very long time, Kennelly. This could be very bad news for the Classic Connection. Oh, the Wolf Zaddies are on the hunt, indeed. Bad dude, bad dude, bad dude. Bad dude. Bad news if you're the Classic Connection. You couldn't have seen this coming. I think the Classic Connection thought that Che would be a man on an island, not be able to find a partner. That is not the case. These two go way back. And listen to this crowd. Well beyond, well behind the, the Wolf Zaddies. This is not very good. Jacob Barron only found a partner, but a good one. 
Double dive to the outside. What a way to kick off Milestone. A howling good time, you might say, Jessica. Oh, well, keep, uh, keep your comments to yourself. Just because we haven't seen these two together in a very long time doesn't mean anything. They're starting off hot now, but we have a long way to go, Kennelly. These two train together, Santino Brothers Academy. Think of the history that these two both have on this program. And Tito, former Hollywood Heritage Champion, former Tag Team Champion, Red Carpet Rumble winner. He's done it all. Flapjack City. Put some syrup on it. Is that going to do it? It might be over before it begins. There's the cover. Only a count of two. Count of two. Count of two and a half almost there, Kelly. This is not very good. We're still in the early goings. Scoop and a slam by Cabrera. Out for revenge. You'll recall that the classic connection jumped Cabrera after that lost to Watts when he put the mask on the line, the unmasking of Rogelio as he was known at the time. Jumped by the classic connection and then went back to find a brother of his for some serious backup. Look at this, overhead belly to belly throw. That is absolutely nasty. Our announcer's desk just shook from that fall there, Kenley. Haven't seen bad dude Tito in quite some time in competition. Last time I believe was a match with Ryan Taylor. Oh, quiet please. Did that ring your eardrums as much as it did mine, Kennelly? I think that the chest is going to match the ring gear very quickly for Ryan Shapiro. Look at the continuity of the Wolf's Addies. Into the cover now goes Cabrera. And it appears they haven't been teaming for a long time, but they definitely have not lost track of their background of their, of their groundwork that they laid very, very early on in their careers. They are crisp right now. And Howdy Price, as there you see, down goes Shapiro again, big boot by Cabrera. And Bad Dude Tito going for the cover, doesn't hook the leg. Howdy Price basically sold Cabrera down the river, kind of sold him off at auction after that loss to Watts. He might have some, uh, some remorse after we see how well Cabrera and Tito are teaming up here against his uh, his new uh, found team here in the Classic Connection. You know what, Howdy Price? He's a meal ticket. He's a businessman, not meal ticket. He's a client of his. Now, keep this in mind. When you're Into the cover. When you are a businessman, you have to you have to, to, to lose your liabilities. Che Cabrera made a very stupid decision in order to put his mask on the line against Watts. He is now nothing without Hattie Price. Howdy Price knows that, but the fact that Tito is in there is just adding insult to injury, Kennelly. Elbow there by Cabrera. Grinds the forearm in there for good measure. Well, if he's nothing without Howdy Price, I don't think Cabrera got the memo. He's looking pretty good right now. Still early going. A lot can happen there, Kelly. A lot can happen. Don't run your mouth too soon. Oh, what was that? Jake Cabrera must have slipped on the apron again there. Well, he might want to dust off that monitor, but taking advantage on the outside was Buddy Royal into the Snap Mayor takedown. Fist drop by Shapiro into the cover. Close call. Classic connection in control. This matchup continues right after this. Pro Shingle is extending their offer for just 14 more days. That's right. Pro Shingle will pay your insurance deductible up to $1,000 on a complete roof replacement. Time is running out. Call now. 901-258-6503. Championship Wrestling joins forces with Grind City Designs to bring you the all-new Championship Wrestling Shop. All styles, all sizes, featuring the legends of classic Memphis wrestling. Pickup or delivery. <laughs> the all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by be free CBD. Memphis wrestling has such a legacy and we're just so happy to bring a little bit of our, of our West Coast wrestling that the Memphis audience, which is a true professional wrestling audience, has embraced our product and you can't ask for a better compliment. BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with championship wrestling to help you be and feel your best. Right now, it seems the world is moving fast. Things keep changing and we know it can be overwhelming. As parents, we understand your worry and concern and just know we're here with you. 
In the meantime, let's all use this moment to slow down a bit. Use this time to take care of yourself. To bond with your family and loved ones and lift each other up. Or just binge watch that TV <laughs> show you were trying to finish. We will all get through this as families, friends, and as a community. Remember, we're all in this together. I'm back on the road to visit another one of our favorite local wrestling promotions, this time EPW in Boonville, Mississippi. We've performed in Boonville quite a few times and the audience is always very wild. Yeah, it's definitely five star country, that's for sure. But let's take a look at EPW in Boonville. Hello again everyone, Dustin Starr here, back on the road, this time in Boonville, Mississippi, home of EPW. Hey, this is Neil Taylor with EPW Wrestling right here in Boonville, Mississippi. EPW Wrestling has been providing wrestling here in Boonville for over 15 years, making EPW Wrestling the longest running show in Mississippi. EPW Wrestling has hosted national stars such as WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler, Jimmy Mouth of the South Heart, Tommy Dreamer, Hornswoggle, as well as AEW stars Billy Gunn and Marco Stunt. We also have some of the best local talent right here at EPW Wrestling. Guys like the sellout Daniel Nova, DC Daniel Cross, Dakota Riley, and many, many more. Be sure and check out EPWWrestlingMS.com for photos, videos, our brand new web show, EPW Wrestling Out Loud. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at EPW Wrestling MS. And EPW fans, I can promise you, we're gonna be back very, very soon. Just like all of you, we cannot wait until the return of Live Pro Wrestling. EPW looks to return to action very soon but wants to make sure they do it in a safe manner. Stay up to date by following them at EPW Wrestling MS. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood as we kick off Milestone Tag Team Action. What a partner selected by Che Cabrera in Bad Dude Tito, but Cabrera in a bad way right now. You see the double teaming, a signature of the classic connection. Buddy Royal checks in, and throughout the break, the classic connection controlling the pace of the matchup. And this is what I was talking about, Kenley. Just because you bring in someone like Tito to try to save your backside when the real man left you doesn't mean that you're gonna be okay in there. And it's obvious that Jacob Barrera is still foolish, still making those same mistakes, and now he's gonna pay for it, Kenley. Making Tito a, a non-factor at the moment. Look at that, all that body weight down on the throat across the rope here of Cabrera. Insult to injury. Look, and throwing punches there too, right in the face. Take that, you'll remember my name is what he said. Into the cover now. Cabrera powers out, but you look at the ring positioning. Cabrera in the wrong part of town as you see the, the classic connection cutting off the team or cutting off the ring, Tag Team Wrestling 101 right now. Absolutely, you're talking about, you're talking about foundations of Tag Team Wrestling. The very first thing you learn is to keep your opponent close as possible to your partner to make sure that you take advantage as much as you possibly can. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Up and down goes Cabrera. That double atomic drop, that offense, quite a throwback now, double Russian leg sweep. They've got Cabrera laid out on their side of the ring. This thing might be over. Digging down deep, a lot of heart on display by Shea Cabrera. This is personal, he wants this, he wants revenge, but he's a long way from getting it right now. You know what, when you have your mind set in the fact that you're gonna take revenge, you're gonna be angry, you're gonna go in there and again make more mistakes. That's the idea, Kennelly, is you have to be focused, you have to be skilled, and you have to set your sights on the goal. And right now, all he's thinking about is getting back at Heidi Price, and that is why he's in the position he's in right now. Big smile on the kisser there, Howdy Price, his team in control right now, and it doesn't matter if Bad Dude Tito is the partner of Cabrera. If Cabrera can't get there for the tag. More double teaming now. Breaking the double clothesline, look at that. Incredible hard on display, just digging down deep. But how much is left in the tank can he get? 
to the bad dude. And this is a very big problem, because if he does get to the bad dude, indeed, you gotta figure this. There's nobody on the outside for the classic connection. There's nobody in there that's fresh that can take advantage. If they sit up right now and he tags in Tito, they are sitting ducks, Kennelly. Great shot by Cabrera, bringing a whole new meaning to divide and conquer. Doing just that, backdrop there for Royal. Hip toss for Shapiro, tag is made! The bad dude is in, and the mood changes in this matchup. Would not be on the receiving end of that if my life depended on it, Kelly. This is nasty. And Tito's got some history with these two back when they were representing the office, along with producer and professional Peter Avalon, when Avalon was the champion. Tito having absolutely none of it. He is fresh and he is hungry. He's going in there very strong. Oh! Double blockbuster by the bad dude. I was giving you some history because you've been here for a cup of coffee. Look at that. Double team into the Tilt World backbreaker. Things going bad to worse now for Buddy Royal into the cover. Shapiro breaks it up. You know what, you just sunk in what the heck you just told me. How come every single time I'm over here you try to insult me and try to make me look bad in front of all these idiots? You don't think I feel bad enough having to sit next to you for at least an hour at a time? I do, it's terrible. I'm just saying, we're celebrating. Oh, look at this, double team, little stun gun action. And this would be a stunning victory for certain for the classic connection. Ten years. I'm just saying, you're in 10 years, a decade, you're a single grain of hand of sand in the Sahara Desert that is championship wrestling from Hollywood. That's ten all. Years in a single, okay, while you're sitting here insulting me, here comes Che Guevara, absolutely cheating, and the referee has absolutely no idea what's going on. This is horrible right now. The classic connection needs to take control of this match. Well, you got combustible elements in this thing. To be expected. Spine buster by the bad dude. Why? Big shot. Why? Oh, my what goodness. was the point? What was the point of that? Caltech reporting an eight on the Richter scale. There's the satisfaction by the Wolf Zaddies. Is that going to do it? Yes. Here are your winners, the Wolf Zaddies. That's a great start to them coming back there, Kelly. A nice cheating victory. How proud they must be. They double team, they beat the classic connection at their own game. The Wolf Zaddies getting it done. And it wouldn't be a anniversary celebration without a big return. Welcome back, Tito. And look, what is Howdy Price gonna do? Get him, Howdy. This is it. You're gonna about to feel the wrath of Howdy Price. Oh no. Oh. Abort! Abort! I think he think he pulled something. Big win by the uh, Wolf Daddy standing tall. Welcome back. I love me some Wolf Zaddies. And you can watch episode 40 on demand on our official YouTube channel. It's main event time here on Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. And this one is explosive. It's no secret that our women's division is one of the best you'll find anywhere. It's a fatal four-way women's match pitting our league's best against each other all at the same time. And that four Fatal 4 weight is next. Hello, I'm Mike Bendell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60 day money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. ProShingle has a deal for you. For the next 14 days, ProShingle will pay your insurance deductible up to $1,000 on a complete roof replacement. It's the simple choice. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. This is what we are doing while we socially distance ourselves. Playing football, playing video games, taking the dogs on walks. Memphis in May just wrapped up at www.stspod.club 
It was all about Memphis and its good stuff in the archives along with new weekly episodes. Be sure to check out our appearances on the podcast last month. It was fun. Oh yeah, give them a listen. www.stspod.club The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Ha! You're definitely getting there, Dustin, and I appreciate the effort. And uh, let's go. <clears throat> Howdy! <laughs> BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. Chicken is heaven. Oh my gosh, it's yes. I love that the bunch toasted and the chicken is cooked to the crisp. It is perfect. Chicken slinger. Heaven in my mouth. Championship Wrestling joins forces with Grind City Designs to bring you the all new Championship Wrestling Shop. All styles, all sizes, featuring the legends of classic Memphis wrestling. Pickup or delivery. COVID-19 is spreading, but here are some tips you can do to protect yourself. Wash your hands often. Keep a social distance of at least three feet. Cough into your elbow. Your face, don't touch it. And of course, if you feel sick, stay home. Let's all do our part to flatten the curve. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Brisbane, Australia, Simone Sherry. Switching gears to the women's division, this should be a good one. Two great athletes about to go at it. Simone Cherie returning to championship wrestling from Hollywood, originally out of Australia. Prolific striker, great competitor, and looking for a victory. Well, we'll see if she gets it here today, Kennelly. I don't know, all those smiles and, and, and high-fiving can only get you so far. And introducing her opponent, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Lacey Ryan. Lacey Ryan, great athlete, powerhouse. Two well-matched competitors about to go at it here. Lacey Ryan has had some great matches here in her short time, relatively short time here in championship wrestling from Hollywood. Even caught the eye at one point of the Killer Bane. Tried to team up with Lacey Ryan. You know, I don't see why you have to bring in the killer bait. She's not here to defend herself, Kennelly, and you know that. The, the fact of the matter is, is, is that if Heather Monroe wanted to take either win of the, any one of these women on, right now she would do it, and you know that to be a fact. Well, the killer bay loves to say to all the other female competitors, you can't wrestle here, but we've got two great competitors about to go at it. That's got to fire up Simone Cherie. Little Ozzy chant. Yeah, I love Ozzy. Ozzy Osbourne, he's a great guy, awesome, awesome musician. I agree, but that's not what they were referring to. They're referring to the home country of Simone Cherie of Australia. Oh, wasn't Land he Land down Australia? under. He was from Australia. Oh, Sharon, Sharon. He I was, can't do he it He was from Ozzy. England. Oh, it's all the same, isn't it? We'll let you go with that. Taking control of the wrist here, Lacey Ryan. Nice takedown there. Drop toe hold by Simone Cherie to take advantage. Front face lock, north south position. Oh, Sherry seems very, very focused in there. I'll definitely give it to her. And you're going to need it against someone like Lacey Ryan. And Lacey Ryan now walked into an elbow by Sherry. And again, this is something that's going to anger Ryan. Oh, yeah, if she can get her faculties back, that quick elbow, the big strikes there by. Simone Cherie, this thing picking up in a hurry because both looking for a victory. Takedown, creating some distance, tries to follow in, and a head scissors takedown by Simone Cherie, as impressive as she's ever been. 
You know what? And Lacey Ryan has been here uh, for a, a, a little while now at Championship Wrestling. She's definitely made an impact. But you know what? Someone like uh, Sherry comes in and, and she and she electrifies these fans like she's doing. That's definitely going to throw a, a, a wrench into the mindset of Ryan. You would think. And uh, Lacey Ryan trying to fight from underneath here. It's, it's been a barrage thus far. Telegraphed there, though, by Simone Cherie. And Lacey Ryan looking to take advantage. Does so. Looking for a big buzzsaw kick. Counter nicely. And both ladies hitting with the big right hands. Amazing back and forth counters by these women, Kennelly. This is actually very, very intelligent. You have to make sure that you pick your spot oh, just like that. Oh, oh, what a shot! You save all your strength for big moves like that. Now Lacey Ryan is in control of the driver's seat. Big crescent kick there by Lacey Ryan. Follows it up, neck snap, executes it perfectly. Does not elect to go for the cover, however. Looking for the springboard into the elbow. Is that going to do it? Here's the hook of the leg, looking to put her away. Only a count of two. Great action. You got to figure Lacey Ryan now is, is now gotten on the side of the fans, and that's very important. The support that you have from the fans is very, very essential. Listen to them clapping now in unison on support of Lacey Ryan. Lacey Ryan might be able to take it home very, very shortly. Lacey Ryan was able to weather that initial storm of Simone Cherie. Nice counter, though. Utilizing the drop toe hold for the second time in the matchup. It's been a valuable weapon. Nice roll up here by Simone. Only a count of one. Momentum carrying Lacey Ryan over. She's got a lot of power in those legs as well as Lacey Ryan. Putting on the brakes as Cherie looking for the suplex, but nice counter into the inside cradle. Has it wrapped up tight. Another near fall. You see this whole thing is very back and forth. One is going over on the other. The other is going over on the under. It's very, very important to make sure that you stay on top. And neither one of these women are staying on top right now. As we look now at, at Lacey Ryan on the outside, you got to figure she's probably hurt and battered. That's definitely going to be an advantage right now for Cherie. Back and forth. Seesaw action. And we'll see if Simone Cherie is going to press the issue. Heading out of the ring on the other side, getting some momentum. And might just try and get Ryan back into the ring where she can press the offensive. And that's exactly what she does. Exactly. Here we go. Back into the ring. Going back. In. Oh, Lord, here's the killer oh, bay. What is she doing out here? I told you, Kennelly. Are you kidding me? Get and now, now Sandra Moon out here as well, hot on the trail of the Killer Bay, and they, of course, have their issues. Oh, this is absolutely, this is crazy right now, Kaylee. This is chaos. It's total bedlam here in the women's division. We were having a fantastic matchup until the Killer Bay had to come out here and ruin it, and she's paying for it right now. Look at the fire of Lacey Ryan. Look at all these officials out here right now. Look at all the officials right now trying to keep the ordinance in order, and it's not working right now. All the women are beating the crap out of each other, Kaylee. This is madness. You can hear the crowd here saying, let them fight. Total chaos, and now the, the officials out here, a whole slew of officials uh, have retained some type of order. We're gonna try and put the pieces back together. Oh my again. God, dinner. We've gotta take a break, we'll be back. Pro Shingle is extending their offer for just 14 more days. That's right. Pro Shingle will pay your insurance deductible up to $1,000 on a complete roof replacement. Time is running out. Call now. 901-258-6503. Last week on Championship Wrestling, we saw the formation of the group known as Static. Ray Rosas went head-to-head -head with Watts. Something snapped in Ray Rosas. Then, Vermin issued a challenge. Come on out right now and fight us! Bateman and Andy Brown answered the call wasn't free. In our main event, Adrian Quest was forced to relinquish the United TV title and had one last chance. Watch episode 61 in full on demand on our official YouTube channel at CW30 Wrestling. COVID-19 is spreading, but here are some tips you can do to protect yourself. Wash your hands often. Keep a social distance of at least three feet. Cough into your elbow. Your face, don't touch it. And of course, if you feel sick, stay home. Let's all do our part to flatten the curve.
Are you or your small business looking for a tag team partner? Tag team with championship wrestling. That's right. Our economy comeback rates are perfect to help let your fans and customers know when you are back in action. It's simple. Go to championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and click contact. Welcome back, everyone, to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And this thing continues after chaos. This has now been made a four-way matchup. You know, one way to, one way to organize on one way to organize chaos is to make more chaos. And you see that everybody singled out Heather. Now everybody going after the Killer Bay. Well, because she stuck her nose where it didn't belong, quite frankly. Because she seems to do. Look at this, though. First pinfall or submission is going to win this thing. Oh, I, Actually, I, I, I think it's elimination, Kenley. It's elimination right now is what we're talking about right now, which means we have three pinfalls before we see oh a winner. Oh, my tonight. gosh. Well, we're going to find out who the best woman is. That's for sure. You're right. Nico Marquez making this an elimination bout. That's even better. I'll say that again now, Kenley. Sandra Moon in there with Simone Cherie. Now, Cherie's been in that ring for quite some time because you'll recall she initially had a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Lacey Ryan. And you see that, you see the cowardice by Sandra Moon and Lacey Ryan right now taking advantage of Cherie. They're not going after the Killer Bay, who was very fresh in there because they are too scared of what they're going to do. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what's happening, it's... Kenley. They're picking on somebody that's already bound. Well, there she see, is, yeah, like a thief in the night from the outside taking advantage and sends Lacey Ryan right into the steps. Stairway to heaven, that's what I'm talking about. The Killer Bay is a monster. Let's go, let's go, Heather Monroe. Yeah, Heather Monroe went right back down to the canvas and trying to roll to the outside. You've got Sandra Moon in there with Simone Cherie. What a fantastic matchup this is. And Sherry Cherie is definitely holding her own there, even though Moon is very fresh. She's, she's still in there holding her own and still has support from the audience. Doesn't even look the slightest bit winded, and that's a very dangerous person to go against, Kenley. Yeah, Simone Cherie's got a boxing background. She'll go from sweet to psycho in a hurry. She can put your lights out with the strikes. Look out from behind. Uh, sneaky, Looking to sneaky. score an elimination here. Heather Monroe taking advantage. That was very, very close, Kennelly. Very, very close. A, a mere fraction of a second away was Heather Monroe from sealing the first part of her victory today. You've got the two competitors that weren't part of the initial matchup now. Another chapter in the war between the Killer Bay and Sandra Moon. Look at this. Handspring. Splash in the corner. Look at this. Looking to use her assets, and she does. And Moon in trouble. We might be getting closing in on our first elimination here. The Killer Bay can continue the full court press. Absolutely. Heather Monroe is going to have to take some sort of, of, of advantage right now because she has her exactly where she needs to have her and still going out there flaunting to the audience that perhaps being a mistake as Lacey Ryan has entered this contest. Lacey Ryan now, oh, look at this beautiful high impact move there. Driving down the Killer Bay and looks to keep the pedal to the metal. Into the pump handle. Oh, with oh, a knee strike. Oh, my goodness. And now a neck breaker the other way by Simone Cherie. This thing quickly turning into a grand finale of a fireworks show. Tough to keep up with all this action. Oh, my goodness. That was a bad devastating move for him and Rowe. Almost eliminated the Killer Bay, almost the first one out of here. And could you imagine what would happen if that were the case? Yeah, can you imagine the 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 absolute anguish on Heather Monroe if she was the first one, the freshest one in there to go out the, the very first time? That'd be terrible. But don't worry, you have host and body out there taking care of them as Heather Monroe. Whoa. But look up on top right now, what is going on here? Well, now coming into the, uh, the view... Look at this. Wow, a big blockbuster there by Lacey Ryan into the cover center of the ring. Gets the first elimination. Simone Cherie Simone eliminated. Simone Cherie has been eliminated. Oh, now the other way, taking advantage. Yes! Lacey Ryan oh, has wow. been eliminated. Lacey Ryan's foot just flash touched that rope and not enough to break the hold, apparently. And now... They're both out of here, and oh, look at this. 
These two going to go again. Here we go, Gennelly. We've, we've, we've seen these two battle before. We've seen them lock horns, and here they are once again. And all is on the line. Everybody else is out of there. All the obstacles are out of the way. It's just them two to decide their fate. Most recently in a mixed tag match until this week. But now it's one on one. Sandra Moon in control at the moment. Look at this snap suplex, beautifully done. You can see the anguish etched all over the face of the Killer Bay. Yeah, Killer Bay has a lot to lose at this point. Sandra Moon already has one up on Heather Monroe. We have no idea. We have no idea what is going through the mind right now of Sandra Moon. She's probably incredibly focused on putting down the Killer Bay for good, and she might have it tonight. What an incredible impromptu match this was as Sandra Moon looks for the victory. What started as Simone Cherie taking on Lacey Ryan one-on-one -on -one, turned into a four-way elimination match and we're down to our final two. Did you two see, heated rivals. Did you see Holston Body on the outside? He looks absolutely fabulous. I might have to ask him where he gets his jackets and or his hats. I think he might have taken out the Christmas goose. Well, it was a Christmas joke, I get you, yeah. Moon now going up top. This might be a very pivotal mistake. I don't care how up on top you have on the Killer Bay, but if you're going to make that mistake, and that's what I'm talking about, Heather Monroe is going to capitalize on you. She gets you to sleep, and she's going to put you to sleep for good. This might be it for Moon. What's the Killer Bay got in mind? Maybe thinking superplex, trying to fight it off is Sandra Moon to no avail, and they both come crashing down. That was nasty, Kennelly. That was absolutely nasty. That, that ring, I swear, it's, it, it, it bent in half when those two hit the mat. That was a fierce, fierce superplex. Incredible atmosphere here in the Ocean View Pavilion. This place coming unglued. The fans behind Sandra Moon as the Killer Bay looks to take control and put this away, but only a count of two. Only the count of two, and Heather Monroe is surprised. Holston's body surprised. I'm surprised, honestly, Kennelly. That could have been it. Sandra Moon here, jockeying for position into the full Nelson, standing switch, full Nelson the other way, breaking down the hands with the elbow and the strike. Sandra Moon thinking kick, kick the other way, back and forth. She who counters, last counters best, looking for the Moonstruck. Oh, now into the bad Bishinoku driver attempt. No, nobody home there, both looking for their heavy artillery. There we go, Moonstruck again. Center of the ring, is it gonna be enough? Yes! Here is your winner, Sandra Moon! That might have been the most impressive action we've ever seen in the women's division here in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, and that is saying something. What a match. Started as a one-on-one, -on -one, turned into a four-way elimination, came down to two great rivals, and Sandra Moon gets it done again. Absolute chaos, Kennelly, and you know what? I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. You will see action like this in only one place, and that's right here at Championship Wrestling. And our main event is still to come. We'll be right back. Thank you for joining us here on Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. We are brand new each and every week as we take a look back at some of our very best matches. That Fatal 4-Way was the episode 38 and you can watch it free on demand. What a wild match to finish off this week and fans stay up to date and informed on everything Championship Wrestling by following us at CW30 Wrestling. And don't forget to join us right here next week as we continue to bring the very best in professional wrestling. And don't miss the Championship Wrestling Podcast presented by Be Free CBD each and every Monday at high noon on your favorite podcast providers. I'm Maria. He's Dustin. Thanks for being with us this week. We'll see you next week. Oh, yeah.